So this is uh, what's running on the phone. Um, we launched it uh, in January, and the last week we also announced the tablet, which I will show in a second. So which is one thing which, which is really cool is that um, Ubuntu it doesn't have any hard key or software buttons. You don't see any buttons on the screen to navigate around. And the reason is that basically the whole screen is uh, organized around uh, the edges of the, uh, the whole experience is organized around the edges of uh, the phone. So for example, I use the left edge to go to my uh, favorite apps. And for example, go, I go to my home screen. You see that? So this is my different home screens, my apps, uh, my videos, uh, my, my content, my people, and music. So I can scroll here for carousels, are really beautiful. And over here I see my uh, favorite apps and my favorite contacts. And open up the contacts if I want to. Let's see, let's just, uh, If I now want to go to the gallery, go here, open the gallery, and this is a native app. So one of the other really cool things about Ubuntu is that both, both has native apps and uh, web apps sitting side by side. For example, Facebook is a web app, um, the gallery is a native app, camera is a native app, and they just run side by side. So for example, this is the gallery, really beautiful. Um, what's really cool here to see is that there's no buttons. So again, the whole screen is optimized for the content which I'm interested in. Um, so for example, I open a picture, Still no buttons. If I want to do something with it, it's the bottom edge. So this is, for example, edit or share. Or if I want to go back, just here and I'm back in my screen. If I now want to open up another application, for example, notes, and I want to go back to my previous app, I use the right edge for that. Yeah. So yeah. It's a very easy way of switching quickly between my last apps. Can those be modified? Um, well, basically, the, your favorite apps can be mod uh, modified over here, and the right edge uh, runs for your open apps. Right, so, for example, when we go to um, the camera over here, and I would go back to notes or go back to gallery, basically runs for my open apps. Yeah. Now, if I want to go back to the home screen, I just go here. But let, but let me go back to the gallery. Okay. And another really cool thing is the, what the top edge does, because sometimes I want to change the setting. And rather than going out of my app and change setting and go back in my app, we came up with a really quick access of doing that. So this is by using the top edge and for example going to battery, go down, change the brightness of the screen, bring it back up and I'm back in my app. It's a very quick way of just speaking or changing something that I want to do quickly while not leaving my app. So for example I want to reply to auto, bring it back up and I'm done. So we moved the same model, uh, the same interaction model to the tablet. Which is what we announced last week. This is the tablet. Um, and we see over here is uh, it's the same star screen, uh, but we added now multi-user. So when you use the, the tablet in a business setting or at home with a family, for example, we uh, give uh, the users an option to have their own login. It's very secure, it's all encrypted, so there's no danger. It's like, it's full Ubuntu security. And I can go to the different star screens, really beautiful. It gives a very different representation. And I now, for example, go to the guest. Uh, I can unlock immediately from the right, and I'm back in my home screen. You see, it's the same home screen, it just scales beautifully to different form factors. If I want to launch an app from here, it's again the launcher, like you know from the phone. You go to gallery, you also know the gallery from the phone. It's the app just optimized for, for um, the tablet version. Now, one other thing that we added, oh, i just also show you this, the settings again, so if I want to change something over here, it's the same menu as on the phone, it scales beautifully. Now I want to show you something else, which is side stage. Side stage allows you to multitask. So this is already really good for multitasking, like I can just change something while keep watching a video or a photo. But now, for example, when I want to add, you know, manage my grocery list, it's open here and it opens the app, the phone app, as an overlay over the gallery app. I can bring it away if I want to. So hide it or, or reveal it again while just continuing what I was doing. So for example, over here I can close my app. I'll bring it back this one. And for example, I launch a video. It's a really cool video. If I want to bring in the notes again, I just go from the right and bring in notes. Oh, what?
quite a hard way I've been running on these devices because it seems to run very uh, smooth. Yeah. Uh, things are more testing, coming in and out of that, everything just nice and smooth. So what, what hardware are you running on there to do this uh, very smoothly? Well, so at the moment it runs on a ne Nexus 10 and Nexus 7, uh, this one. Uh, it also runs on a, uh, the following version runs on a Nexus, on Nexus 4. Cool. Yeah. It was really uh, on a phone, for example, it already works really well. It's uh, uh, on dual core, uh, one gigahertz. Um, people are already porting into other devices now, so we we expect that Ubuntu will run on many, many different devices. Services, open source. It's open source, of course, everywhere. Yeah.